Hi there, and welcome at Your Guitar Workshop. My name is Andre, and uh, today we're going to be doing one of the last um, tutorials for the Blue Special. This time it's for uh, a piece of solo by Freddie King on Isle of the Woman. Um, I already played the example, so um, let's just get right to it. So grab your electric guitar and let's get started on the first riffs. Alright, so it starts off with the following lick. What do you play? You put your index finger in 10th position of the B string. And actually what you have here is a D minor pentatonic scale. That is used. So that 10th position with your index finger. Play it twice. Then you make a bend, a slow bend with on 13th position with your ring finger. Then you play that bend, like it's a pre-bend. Then you make that bend once more. Then you play that one once it's bent once more. Then you play 13th position. Then you play it 13th position once it's has a full bend. And then you make a final bend. So like this. Then you get you have that full bend. Then you get you play the following lick. So you make that release bend from thirteen. Then tenth position on the B string with your index finger, and ring finger twelve on the G string to index finger tenth on the G string to ring finger twelve on the D string to index finger ten. So, from the start, then you get the following lick. It starts off with two full bends on thirteenth position of uh, the E string. And it starts on the second beat. This is a 6 8 measure, by the way. It starts on the second beat of the bar. So, like this. Once more. Then you play 13th position with your ring finger. Then index finger 10th. And 13 with your little finger on the, uh, on the B string. Then ring finger uh, 12th position of the G string. And you make a bend, release, pull off to 10th, like this. Then you play 12th position of the G string with your ring finger. Roll that ring finger over onto the 12th position of the D string. Then 10th position of the D string with G string with your index finger to ring finger 12. Like from the second bar. Once more. One, two, three. Then next bar, you get tenth position with the on the G string with your index finger. And twelfth position uh, on the D string twice. Then pull off to tenth, and then twelfth position of the uh, of the uh, A string. Sorry, so like this. Then you play the following lick. So what do you play? Start off with the uh, 13th position of the B string with your little finger. Then index finger 10th. Hammer on to 12 with your ring finger. Pull off. Then ring finger 12 on the G string. Then index finger 10th on the B string. Then you make a bend and a release on uh, 12th position of the G string with your ring finger. Pull off to 10th. Index finger, 
to 12 on the D string. Like this. So, before I move on, uh, the, the most difficult thing about this lick is the timing. You know, you really, you really need to listen to Freddie King play it. So I'll be putting a link in the description, and you should definitely practice this lick with how he plays it. That that works works the best. So uh, once more from the start. Uh, here we go. One, two, three, one. Then you get another uh, bend and a release and a pull off on 12. So ring finger 12 is not the G string. Release and then pull off to 10 in next finger. Once more. But then you land with your ring finger on 12 position of the D string as well. Like this. Then you get this following lick. What do you do? You have your index finger on the 10th position of the B and G string. You strike them both and you get a hammer on with your middle finger on the, uh, on the G string in 11th position. Then 12th position with your ring finger on the D string. Pull off to your index finger on 10th. And then you play 12th position of the A string with your ring finger. Like this. Then you play that once more. But you don't make that pull off anymore, so you just play that double stop with that uh, hammer on and then ring finger 12 position of the D string. And you end with the following. It's actually just a little chord what you play. And it's an E flat 7 chord. Back to D7, but you only play a small part of it. So you have your index finger on the D, G and B string in 11th position and your middle finger is in 12th position of the G string. Play that and then you play the same thing only one step down, so on 10th and 11th position. And that's pretty much it. So let's try to play that together slowly. One, two, three, one. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Check yourguitarworkshop.com for more information. Keep practicing, keep playing, and I hope to see you again sometime.